All right, what we're going to do is uh, just start up a few generators in the workshop. Uh, they're all going to be about the same distance, two metres or so from the uh, decibel meter there in the corner of the screen. And um, we'll run an offload and underload, and you'll get an idea by comparison of what the different uh, machines are, are like. Um, this is the worst case scenario, uh, sort of unsilenced uh, GX390 6 kilowatt frame generator. So we'll start there. And, uh, and then move our way along. Okay, now we're going to do the same again with this um, slightly smaller frame generator. It's a, a GX240 uh, 4 kilowatt um, frame generator, so we're just going to run that up the same as we did the GX390. Now when I say that um, these frame generators are the worst case scenario, I'm assuming you know, I'm omitting diesels from this equation because uh, Unsilenced diesel are in another league for being noisy. So we're just talking about petrols here. Um, so, right, let's uh, start this one up. Okay, next up we've got an EM4500, that's a GX390 engine and uh, they are what they describe as semi-silent because they've got a larger muffler and a larger exhaust than a standard frame generator. So we'll fire this one up and uh, see how we go. Right, here we've got the old favourite, the uh, EX5500, um, 5.5 kilowatt, super silent generator. These are a bit special and very quiet, so um, we'll give this one a give this one a roll. This one has to be on gas, but doesn't really make much odds. Okay, let's go, though. We'll Okay, this is the uh, the little um, Honda EU30 IS inverter generator. It's a little uh, three kilowatt super silent machine. Now these are um, these machines have got what they call eco throttle, which varies the load, um, uh, varies the engine speed according to the load. So what we'll do with this one, we'll run it off load, on load, and we'll also do it with the eco throttle switched on and off just to give an idea. So we start this one up. So that's it, offload with the eco throttle on. Okay, now if I put it up to full speed, I turn the eco throttle off, that's what it's like offload. Okay, so now I'll put it back on the eco throttle and put full load on it. Um, 
here we've got a, a Honda U20i um, inverter suitcase generator, so we'll try that. That's a uh, eco throttle offload. Eco throttle switched off. Full load. Okay, back and then this time with an EU 10i inverter generator. So we'll give this one a go. Okay, that's offload with the eco throttle engaged. It's eco throttle turned off. Full load. Okay, this is the Kawasaki GA1400. Um, anybody that's read my uh, website probably knows it's a bit of a favourite for me because they never go wrong. Uh, we're going to give this one a go. Okay, here we are with a uh, Honda EX650. It's uh, effectively around about a 500 watt um, science suitcase generators. These are my all-time favourite and uh, pretty quiet. This one's a bit of a scruffy one. I'm also a customer, but uh, that's it. It does the job. Yeah. So that's it running off load. There it is on full load. Another favourite, Honda EM650. Basically the same machine as an EX650. Just has a slightly different case um, because it's got a long run tank. So as the EX650 has a four and a half hour tank, this has got seven and a half hour tank ever so slightly louder than the EX650 but there's not a lot in it you'll see. Um. So there it is off load. There it is on load. Right this is the uh, little Honda EX500 suitcase invert that's a look two stroke doesn't have eco throttle but does have two speed settings so i'll show you that on the slow setting it's 200 watts maximum fast setting 450 watts so <laughs> that's the fast setting that's on the low That's the slow setting. 